Right now, we'll turn to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka. Tony, today was the kind of day it was hard to pick the right speed for the windshield wipers. It was a steady <laughs> mist and then a light mist and yeah, heavy and rain. Was, yeah, varying intensities. The upside to the rain, Brian, cleaning out the pollen. So if you're That's helpful. Yeah, if yeah. you're an allergy sufferer, kind of cleaning out the atmosphere a little bit. The bulk of the rain has moved out. We've noticed that on Doppler radar. Now, over the next several hours, we're going to rule out a few, you know, isolated showers here and there, but that widespread rain is gone. Take a peek in uh, along the south shore down in New Bedford one more time and uh, still got some low clouds. So there's a lot of moisture in the air, even though the steady rain has moved out. The humidity is still somewhat high and that'll promote over the next several hours a, a little bit of fog and then later in the evening and during the overnight will clear out. We're mild, but it's below average as far as where we should be. Uh, the average high is about 65. We're in the mid to upper 50s, 58 in Providence. Satellite and radar composite shows the cloud cover, the bulk of the steady rain now pulling away. A couple of systems responsible for the precipitation. One is offshore, and that is tracking to the east. You have a front through upstate New York. Until that swings through, I wouldn't rule out an isolated shower. Just feel as though the, the widespread rain is long gone. You can see drier air across the Great Lakes. This is our weather for tomorrow. That'll be dropping in overnight. Sets up for a beautiful Thursday. Draw your attention to this system spinning across the central plains and out towards the Colorado Rockies. This is going to track east late Friday and into Saturday. And this is actually the most challenging part of the forecast. This time frame right in here. How far offshore is this system Friday night into Saturday? Think it's close enough to throw us some extra clouds Friday evening, Friday night into Saturday, and even a few showers along the south shore on Saturday. When we take this and put it into motion, the rain is gone overnight. Look at the clearing. This is tomorrow morning waking up to sunshine. What a gorgeous day. Look at these temperatures spike to the upper 60s to low 70s. So Thursday still remains the pick of the of the week. And then by tomorrow evening, we're dry and partly cloudy. So real nice on Thursday. We'll get in uh, close and take a look at the forecast hour by hour this evening and overnight. Again, maybe an isolated uh, light shower through about 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. Skies gradually clear. Here we are at 7 o'clock in the morning in the low 50s, and what a beautiful day. During the afternoon, warm, at least considering where we've been of late, upper 60s to low 70s. This is around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, the coastline is very mild as well, but the sea breeze late in the day will work in. It'll knock the temperatures down along the south shore by 4 or 5 o'clock, whereas inland spots will remain very mild and then quiet weather tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. So we are waking up to sunshine. Really, it's all day sunshine through the morning by 11 a.m. at 63 and upper 60s to around 70 and a plus day coming up on your on your Thursday afternoon. My right, seven day forecast Friday. The daylight hours will be dry. Chance of showers Friday night. Right now, extra clouds, breezy, cooler on Saturday with a chance of showers, especially along the South Shore. The good news is that Mother's Day Sunday is still dry. It's a little breezy and cool, but boy, we'll take the sunshine and a high temperature near 60.